I'm Diana Falzone, he's Keith Hemmings, and this is She Said, He Said, where we're talking about progressive parental leave and archaic gender stereotypes. Woohoo! <laughs> First, the new hashtag, I look like an engineer, is supposed to upend stereotypes of what computer geeks look like. Keith, is it working? Uh, I don't think it's working. I think uh, a lot of these women, they, they do look good, um, but I don't know if people are taking them seriously. Wait a minute. Hold on. You just took my breath away. You're saying uh, because women are aesthetically appeasing that it doesn't look like they could be smart enough to be well, an engineer? Well, I don't think people are going to take them serious. The guys who are coming in or outside vendors, I'm not going to take them serious. They're going to take them looking as uh, sex objects. You know what I always think? Wow. When you look at uh, low expectations, mm -hmm. right? Especially in, in the Buddhist philosophy, the lower expectations, the more you have to prove people wrong. With that kind of mentality, a woman's going to walk right in and say, you know what? You might think I'm a sex object, which by the way, will make me go to HR on you and You're I right, just sure. might win that fight. <laughs> but secondly, I'm going to prove you wrong when I'm making the best software possible and I'm going to take that job away from you because guess what? I'm sneaky. I'm what you would call the hidden in the wing superstar that will most likely become the CEO of that tech company. Now you see that fire you just had? Yes. That's what they're going to have to use. And that's why I just said that, to get that fire. Maybe that's what happened to them. I, you know, I think that this hashtag is creating that kind of fire. Mm -hmm. That women are getting sick and tired of being considered an outlier in a field that is predominantly all male. And they are doing big things. And it is catching on. And the more we embrace women in this field, the easier it will be for them to move forward. All right. Can you get me heated on that one? <laughs> Next, Woo. Netflix has announced their employees are eligible for unlimited maternity and paternity leave for a year. Now, Diana, do you think this is a good thing, and how long would you take? It's hard to know how long somebody would take because I've never had a child before and there's so many unforeseen things that could happen when you have a baby. You're not sure if God willing the child is healthy, that you're not going to have any medical things to deal with, you're not going to have postpartum, a lot of things. But if you don't have the, the means necessarily to get an extra hand, a nanny, a babysitter, that it is tough if both parents are working to really just give the simple needs that a baby does. So I would say, you know, a couple months, maybe work from home, mm -hmm. but giving a year allows people to really have that bonding time. How about you, Keith? What would well, you what do? You, what do you think of somebody say, now this person may become lazy because of this? Well, I think that's something that you have to check in with your supervisor. Will this impact the bottom line for the company? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, as much as companies want to be family friendly, and that's a wonderful thing to applaud, it is a company and it, it needs employees to be, like you said, um, uh, successful and proficient in what they're doing. Personally, I love it and uh, it makes me want to go have kids right now. You're going to have kids right now? I think so. Do you even have a girlfriend? Uh, well, you know I'm working on that stuff. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, now you know what you think. Tell us what you think on Twitter at Fox Forum 1 and be sure to check out our Fox Forum 1 YouTube channel. <laughs>